Hey guys, this is Off Topic Games, and we have another deck profile for you guys. Um, this one is on Cosmic Heroes. I personally am not the owner of this deck, so I can't give you an in-depth analysis about the deck, but I can do my best, and I'll show you guys what's up. Um, so for our starter, we run Cosmic Hero Grand Hop. Uh, you, it's a forerunner, and it has a burst axe skill. You can rest this unit if your Vanguard is twenty-five thousand or greater. Uh, choose one of your units and it gets plus 4,000 until the end of the turn. And then if your Vanguard is 35k or greater, you may put this card in your soul, draw a card, and then give it, uh, or unflip the damage. So it's pretty good because the deck kind of counter blasts a lot. And you do draw a card so it's not a minus one, it's just a break even. And you do give power to one of your other units like Grand Chopper or uh, one of your rear guards. Or like other rear guards, so it's pretty nice because it can break numbers. Yeah. Uh, for our triggers, we run 16 like we're supposed to. Uh, for the Grand Gallop crit, uh, put in the soul, it gets plus 5. The Vanguard gets plus 5 if it's Gallop and you draw a card. It's, this card is especially good because uh, obviously for Cosmic Heroes the power matters and you, you can apply this before your other effects. So it should go off and it, it counts for the power as long as it's during the battle phase. But yeah, it's a good card, you should run it if you're running Grand Gallop. Or even if you aren't, because it is a foil. Uh, next, we run the best do you please crit in the game, uh, Justice Gold. He looks really cool, and he's Justice and Gold. Uh, next, we run four stand triggers. Kind of an interesting card, but uh, it's Reka. Um, I believe it's from BT. Oh, G the extra booster. Uh, what it does is you can put it back to the deck. It's GB one skill. Uh, your Vanguard gets plus four K. And then when it attacks, if your Vanguard power is 37k or greater, you draw a card. So this card stacks, so if you put multiple back, you draw more cards based on the amount. And then if, for example, your Vanguard restands or something, you do it again. So it could, Because it gives it the skill and it's not once per turn or anything. So it's a pretty good card and it does give your Vanguard more power. Uh, next we run the Nicest Heal. Um, I guess arguable, but it really isn't. Operator Girl, Erica, she just looks nice and she's heal. <clears throat> Next, for our grade ones, we run, uh, interestingly enough, four burst PGs. Um, it's not the unflipper ones or the regular ones. Although the deck may need unflipping, uh, this can help with like the power inconsistencies. Uh, so, what it does is if your Vanguard is 30k or greater, uh, this unit gets a skill auto at the end phase of the battle it gets returned from the hand uh, and then if your vanguard's 35k or greater it gets plus 4k until the end of the turn so in other words it's a 10k booster if your vanguard hits that certain power and then at the end of the battle it goes back to your hand assuming they didn't like defeat flare it but yeah it's a pretty good it's a pretty good PG um, arguable on whether you run it or not but it's nice so if you want you guys can leave in the comments whether you like this one or the unflipper better Next we have four Grand Rope, it's the Stride Fodder for the Deplease deck. And then it also searches for Grand Gallop, which is very nice because we want Grand Gallop as our starter, or as our uh, grade three always. Yeah. And the deck strides a lot, so it's a stride based deck, so it's nice. Uh, next we run four Grand Lady. Uh, what this card does, it's an Axe skill, it's not GB1. Uh, you rest this unit, choose one of your Vanguards and it gets plus 4,000, and then if you have Vanguard with uh, Burst Ability, choose one of your other rear guards, and it gets plus 4k until the end turn. Um, there are other cards that you can use for this deck, uh, for example, one of them is like Grand Vehicle, but I believe he just likes this card better as it's an Axe skill, and this, this one is on placement, it's just a nice card to have. Um, lastly, we run two Grand Choppers. Uh, Grand Chopper is a really good card. Uh, what it does, it's a once per turn auto skill. When this unit is increased due to the effect of one of your cards, uh, if this card is 11k or more, you can pay the cost, which is Counter Blast 1, choose two other units, and they get plus 4k. Uh, so what this can do is <coughs> you can um, use it either offensively or defens defensively, which is very interesting. Uh, basically what you do is, um, when you hit a trigger, you can put the power on the Grand Chopper, counterblast 1, 
choose a unit and it gets plus 4k. So let's say you have two Grand Choppers, one behind the Vanguard and one on the rear guard. Um, this boosts, you hit like, uh, it doesn't really matter, 33, because that's normal. Um, so you hit 33, you, you hit a trigger, you boost it on here. Uh, this guy skill activates, you counter blast one, give the Vanguard plus four, and then this card plus four. And then this one activates, so you give the Vanguard plus four again, and this card plus four. And basically you got plus uh, 17k with one trigger, which is pretty cool. And then you also gave a plus four to the rear guard as well. Um, what's good to note about this deck is uh, the owner of the deck does not run laurels. He believes that you don't need them. That's totally fine. Uh, I, these are Japanese, by the way. I don't have English ones on me. Um, it's understandable that you don't need laurels because the rear guards have high power. Uh, but and they do draw a decent amount, so that's up to you if you want to run it. I do believe that uh, general deep least deck lore is just too good of a card not to run, but I do understand that um, in certain decks you can choose up not to run it and stuff, and it's fine. Because sometimes people try to uh, heavily rely on Laurel, where it's more of like a, if it depends on the situation, whether you want to Laurel or push for game, etc, etc, etc. So yeah. Um, Oh, also, a card I forgot to mention is the other stand trigger that just got released uh, in GBT07. Uh, this card is a GB1 skill. He doesn't run it, by the way. Um, you put into your soul, choose one of your other vanguards, it gets one of your vanguards, it gets plus 4k until the end turn. If you have a, if your vanguard is 30k or greater, choose one of your units and it gets plus 4k again. So you can buff two things by 4k or one thing by 8k assuming they hit the threshold. Um, it's nice, but it is a minus one and stuff, and the power may or may not matter, it really depends. <laughs> um, next we have, in our, for our grade twos, that should be 14 grade ones, I believe. Uh, next for our grade twos, we run four Grand Volver, it's the trip rare from the new set. Uh, what it does, it's a burst act skill once per turn, not GB. Um, if your Vanguard's 15k or greater, Choose up to one of your rear guards, and it gets, and that unit gets plus 4k until the end of the turn. And then if your vanguard is 30k or greater until the end of the turn, this card gets the auto skill. When this unit hits a vanguard, you unflip two damage. Uh, so that card is really good, and it also has resist continuous. So it's very annoying against like cargo players who, or link joker players who try and uh, kill your stuff or lock it. But it's annoying, it's bad against like Shadow Paladin players, for example. Um, but in general, this card is really good, or pretty good, because it's an Axe skill, which means it's not on placement, and you can just do it every, every turn, basically. And it's resist, so it's harder to kill. And it does have on-hit skill to unflip two damage. So yeah. Uh, next we have for Grand Sub. Uh, this one is kind of the same as a Grand Chopper. Uh, I'll read the skill now. GB1 once per turn. When this unit's power is increased due to an effect of one of your cards, if this unit's power is 13k or greater, choose one of your vanguards and until the end turn it gets a skill. It gets plus 4k and the skill. When the attack hits, uh, you your opponent chooses one of your one of their rearguards and retires it. Um, and then it also doesn't, so this card does not get the boost from uh, boosting or guarding, obviously. So you need to do it by power triggers or just one of the effects of your cards. Um, it's pretty good because, let's say they no guard the vanguard, then you can choose this guy, it gets the skill, your vanguard gets plus 4k and that other skill. So you can basically just retire it because you hit normal triggers and they no guard the vanguard. So pretty good card. You can also, by the way, play safe. Let's say your opponent two to past, um, and you have this card in your rear guard. Your vanguard's power is thirty three because it's usually normal. You can boost this, and because of this skill, it's an auto. You can choose to boost the vanguard by plus four, so it increased the stage power by one. So now it's thirty seven. And then if they hit, if you hit another trigger, it'll probably break through. Uh, so that's also a very versatile card that. This card is a versatile card. Next we have three Grand Rifters. Um, 
Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, when this unit is placed on the rearguard, if you have Vanguard with Gallop in his card name, so it's a Gl Glimmer Breath clone, um, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets plus 4k. Choose one of your Vanguards, and until the end of the turn, it gets plus 4k. And the auto skill, once per turn, when this card attacks a Vanguard, if this unit is 40,000 or greater, you draw a card. So pretty nice, it does stack, but you can only do it once, unlike Reika, where if the Vanguard restands, you do it again and again. This one, you can only do it once. But it does give multiple things plus 4k, so it's nice. Um, if you haven't noticed already, a lot of things give other units plus 4k. So generally, if you can, if your local allow allows it, you should try to use the dice to remember the power count, or just practice remembering it by yourself. Yeah. Next for our grade threes, uh, we run four Grand Gallop. One of them are is SP from the SP pack. It's really nice. Uh, what it does is the first skill. It's a GB two skill. When this card attacks a Vanguard, this card is twenty two K or greater. Uh, this unit gets plus one drive check, so it's pretty nice. Normally it's not used because you want to stride normally. The second skill is an auto skill. When you stride over this card, choose your vanguard, it gets plus 4k, and the auto skill, when it hits a vanguard, count blast one and draw a card. So sometimes you don't use a draw a card, but the plus 4k auto for sure is pretty nice. And I guess the heart matters too, right? So yeah. <laughs> uh, lastly, we run... Um, Four Grand Mantles. It's the secondary grade three that we don't want to ride, but we run it because it's not terrible, I guess. Um, it's an on ride skill, counter blast one, soul blast one. Search top five for a burst ability and then shuffle. The second skill is a burst axe skill, uh, rear guard axe skill, counter blast one once per turn. If your vanguard power is 15k or greater, this unit gets plus 4k until the end turn and then your vanguard get if it's your vanguard is 35k or greater uh, your vanguard gets plus 4k so it's pretty nice because it has a rear guard skill and it has an on ride vanguard skill and then you can just place it if you want to so that's our grade threes uh, next for our strides um, interestingly enough I didn't know this until now he runs a uh, three x gallop one of them again is SP very very nice um, I actually would like to have four, but I, I'm not too sure why he runs three. Um, I, and I'll, you'll see the other strides in a bit. But what it does is GB2, counter blast one, choose any card and flip it face up. Um, when this unit attack, attacks a vanguard, if it's 35k or greater, it gets drive check plus one, so four drive checks. And then if it's 40k or greater, it also gets this skill where your va your rear guards, front row rear guards, gets plus 4k for each uh, of this guy face up. So if you have one face up, it gets plus 4k. If you have two face up, it gets plus 8k. If you have three face up, it gets plus 12k. So pretty good card overall. Um, what's good to note is that it's not a once per turn effect. So if you attack the Vanguard twice with this skill, basically Laurel, you can do it twice and get 8 drive checks. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really good because it um, it's the main stride you normally go into second because it's strong and it uh, it's it sets up basically and it just makes big numbers. Uh, X Tiger sets the X Gallop play up normally. Uh, this is normally the first stride you go into. He runs three. This is X Tiger. Uh, it's it can be a first stride auto skill. Choose any card face down and turn it face up. Uh, when this card attacks a Vanguard. If the power is 45k or greater, it gets a crit um, until the end of the battle. So, oh, also it gets plus 4k for each uh, G unit face up. So, in other words, it's kind of like Blizzard can get super huge with the expansion because we have 16 G zone now. And then normally it's easy with the Grand Gallop deck to hit the 45k mark for the crit. So, you first turn stride crit, normally you flip over Gallop, I guess, for that extra play or for the extra power for the next play. But yeah, it's a pretty solid card. Um, normally they need PG because of the Vanguard crit is huge. And yeah. Um, next, there's one extra rogue uh, on hit. If this card is 37 or greater, um, you draw a card and your opponent chooses a card and retires it. 
Oh, also, what's interesting to note about these specifically, these two cards and other cards, this one's on hit, so the power check is after. So you can boost the Vanguard, and then the trigger power matters, so it counts. But for this card, um, even if you boost, if the original swing attack was not 45k, then it doesn't get a crit. You have to hit 45k on swing for it to get a crit. Uh, next, there's two X Phoenix. I believe he he decently likes this card, kind of. Um, this card doesn't hit. If the power is 35k or greater, you can rest one, you draw a card. Yeah. Uh, one Blizza. I'm not too sure if I agree with this because X Tiger is the same thing, but well, not exactly the same thing. Instead, this one gets is a counter blast one. The other one is not a counter blast. This one gets plus five. The other one gets plus four, and then. Um, this one doesn't get a crit. But yeah, interesting choice. I'm not too sure if I agree or disagree. Uh, personally, I'd like X uh, Gallop instead, but it's okay. It's a cool card. Um, next, we have Dark Superhuman Omega. This is a super cool card. You guys should all run one if you want to. Or if you have space, it really depends on your build. But this card's super cool, along with X Falcon that he doesn't run, but it's a cool card. Um, what Dark Superhuman Omega does is you counter blast one, soul blast one. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, you choose one of your rear guards, I believe front row, put it to the soul, <clears throat> and then your opponent's entire front row is front row's power is reduced by the original power of that rear guard that was placed into the soul by this effect until the end of the turn. Um, so sorry, I think I said my uh, one of our front row rear guards, but it's any rear guard. So you choose, when this card is placed on the soul, counter blast 2, soul blast 1. Choose any of your rear guards, put it into the soul, then their front row gets neg power for the original power of the guy that you put in the soul. Really cool card, pretty dreamy. Um, you should try it, it's cool. Uh, next we run Sabreeze for those who get either grade locked or try to play the grade 2 game. Because our entire deck, or a lot of the stuff that our deck does is GB. Or just stride reliant. Like, for example, Grand Volver isn't GB, but we want to be in GB to do better plays and stuff. So, yeah, that's here. Uh, next, we run 4G Guardians. 2 Nigman Patriot, really solid card if you're, the attacking unit is plus 20k. Um, or it's 20k or greater, sorry. It gets plus 5k shield. So, super good card. It's just there if you need it. 20k shield. Um, next we have X Caravu, which is really good. It's a better Blizza in my opinion, but it's oddly less flexible, I guess you could say. Um, basically, when you G-Guard with this card, if the power, the attacking power is 30k or greater, it automatically gets plus 10k shield. So it's better than um, Screw, technically. And then it also has a skill, uh, you can discard a card for your Vanguard to get plus 4k power until the end of the turn. Um, so, it can be less versatile, but it's a really nice card. We run two of it. Uh, it's just a very solid card to go into. Uh, the plus 4k is until the end turn. So your Vanguard is basically a 15k until the end turn, which is very nice defensively. <clears throat> and yeah, that's basically all for the deck. I hope you guys liked it. Um, this deck's pretty fun, actually. I kind of enjoy it, even though I haven't played it myself. But I do enjoy watching it. Um, the numbers are kind of hard to keep track, so you do have to get used to it. And uh, test out other cards and other ideas that can be included in this deck. Like, for example, including like the Metalborg version or like Dykeiser version into this deck. and See how it works and let us know. So that's basically all for the deck profile. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or things you want to talk about, please leave a comment in the comment box down below. And also, as always, our Twitter links and Facebook page links are in the description. Please check them out. Um, you can keep up to date with us besides subscribing. Uh, sometimes we'll try to keep more comments or things we want to talk about with you guys or things you may want to see or engage with us. Some people have already like talked about meta and then what they want to do or their deck list and how to improve. So yeah, come check us out and talk to us and stuff. And yeah, so that's all for the deck profile. Uh, I'll see you guys all later.